and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, coaster child here, dog caster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now, this update is from Carowinds, and this is on a 2023 project potentially. Now, I'm going to be speaking about every single thing to do with this and sharing my thoughts on it as well. So, before we get started with this video, make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you, behind the camera, can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the details about Carowinds' potential 2023 investment. So the original sort of leak around this project um, came from parksfans.net. So massive shout out to them. Uh, but this uh, uh, this particular occasion, after some recent rumours and teasing reported uh, by a Screamscape regarding a project 2022-0157, Carowinds Crossroad 2023, and also the spotting of a Trabant in storage near Fury 325, we have plans out in public. It's a complete overhaul of the crossroads section of the park, in between the Afterburn Roller Coaster and Copperhead Strike, with four new rides, new amenities, and the axing of the Yo-Yo Ride and Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, so... From the uh, actual plan, which is on your screen now, fan dabby dozy. Uh, so from this, you can see the labels of what is expected. So we've got a new area entrance portal right at the top. So we're, so we're working our way down from the top. Uh, we've got a new fry shop, a new runway style plaza, a new play yard. We've got a new nebulous flat ride. So if you don't know the nebulas, the Zamperla nebulas. It's one of the newer ride types over the last couple of years. Um, obviously, we've got one coming to Drayton Manor this year. So hopefully, fingers crossed, at some point this year, I want to try and try one of these. Um, we've got the new food drop. Uh, we've got the new Founders Plaza. We've got new carnival games. We've got the new Trayvon flat ride. Uh, we've got a new bar. We've got a potential new disco flat ride and a potential new air race flat ride so uh, from what we've seen fr from the uh, from the thread of what we've seen uh, via park fans uh, just to put a bit of extra detail on it uh, so there's potentially a Zamperla Nebulas potentially a Chance Trabant potentially a Zamperla Disco it's labeled as a skater ride uh, but it looks um, it looks very interesting, like a Zampella disco. Um, but also to note about the disco ride, the scenic sandy dunes uh, listed theming design for the front of the ride. So very uh, interesting. Could be a hint that this could be uh, very detailed in theming. Now technically the plans call the flat ride the air race, the air racer. But given the shape and size of the pad, it's very likely it will be a Zamperla air race. And it's themed proposed around an aviation theme as well as with bleachers, race cones and more. More. Uh, now, in terms of the other attractions, uh, the Trabant, um, now there's a question mark uh, around the Chance Trabant uh, with the labelling. Um, and that is because, uh, as far as we all know, Tr Chance, which is the original manufacturer, has since replaced the model with the Freestyle. And given Cedar Fair's recent propensity for purchasing older used flat rides, though, a classic old-style Trabant is totally a possibility. Uh, but still noting the slight uncertainty is worthwhile. Now, the Zampel and Nebulas... Uh, this edition is called out by name. It will be located next to both Southern Star and the bumper cars, which are both slated to remain in these plans. And of course, on the Park Fans uh, link, uh, you can see different uh, versions and videos of these attractions. You can always look on social media as well to have a look at more videos as to what these flat rides do. Now, looking a bit deeper um, into new and renovated dining, so we've got the Chick-fil-A, um, it's a new expanded dining area, 
uh, to the right side of the existing Chick-fil-A. Uh, next up, the existing fry shack seems to be slated for some thematic upgrades. Uh, there's a new food location called Food Job, which is near the new nebulas. Uh, there is also an area in front of Action Theatre labelled The Bar. This portion of the site plan is tremendously vague, but that label alone will excite a lot of fans. Now, if you want a bit of extra theming and other miscellaneous additions, uh, you find a ton of de different thematic upgrades plan for the crossroads area of Carowinds next season. Got the new entry portal to the land, got a runway themed plaza in front of Southern Star, a new thematic tower at the entrance to the bumper cars, a play yard, the new Founders Plaza, near Action Theatre, and more. Uh, now, also, the new additions and how they'll fit into the landscape, which of course the first image that you saw on your screen. Uh, the, note that the image below also, which the image that you saw um, on your screen first, also features the schematics for the existing flying scooters at the top left of the site. That isn't a new addition for 2023, but Google's satellite imagery hasn't updated since their construction, so it seemed more helpful to leave that section of the plans in Tact. So, this is definitely interesting. Um, now, there are some people on forums saying that the air race model looks like a 6.4 rather than an 8.2. Um, so, I, it, I reckon it could be. I, I reckon it uh, it could be. Um, now, since the plans were released, it seemed like some construction pictures from Caroline's fans only, uh, which is on your screen now. Find Abidozi. This was only a few days back, so um, this looked like parts. It was debated in forums of a chance freestyle rather than a Trabant. Now, obviously, this is a developing situation. We don't know uh, what the exact, you know, uh, projects will be, but overall, it definitely sounds like um, this could be uh, the. Uh, freestyle um, like I said it's still debatable at this point whether it is the freestyle or the Trabant uh, however I am definitely really excited about this project it's a refurbishment of the crossroads section of the park and uh, it's definitely going to be worth the wait now let's share my thoughts on Carowinds' brand new project so there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about the brand new Crossroads refurbishment and renovation at Carowinds for 2023. So it sounds like we've got some brand new rides coming to Carowinds next year. The Nebulas, potential disco with a sandy kind of theme. And then you've got an aviation-themed air race, uh, which looks like the 6.4 model rather than the 8.2. Um, that seems to be more of the common model that gets picked up by parks nowadays, both temporary and permanent. Um, obviously we've got new thematic upgrades, new dining expansions, new dining facilities, uh, new thematic designs, new miscellaneous additions like plazas and bars, etc. Um, and it sounds like a really complete area, definitely a really complete area. Now I like the addition of a Trabant slash Freestyle, whichever one they decide to go for, or which one they are going for. Um... You know, it's nice to see the classic ride still getting a, a bit of a, a touchy feely here and there um, with some thematic upgrades. Now, obviously, they'll find scooters, getting some new, you know, upgrades next to it and stuff like that. Hopefully, that'll be very exciting as well. You know, that was already one of the, one of the newer flat rides, family rides, uh, over the last few years or so. So, um, you know, obviously, it'd be nice to uh, see some more stuff done to that. Um, I think the Nebulas would be quite exciting. I think that's a great ride to add to the United States. Great ride for Carowinds. Great flat ride as well. You know, it kind of feels like a Canada's Wonderland tester edition where it's sort of like you bring a new ride type to the chain, you sort of want to test it out at a park, and Carowinds will be that test apart for the Nebulas attraction. So maybe this could be the start of adding more of them to the, the Cedar Fair chain. Um, I think overall... The Disco Ride, now, it looks like it could be the one without the airtime hill. I might be completely wrong, but uh, it, it definitely looks like it might not be uh, the one with the airtime hill. But um, either way, I think it could be uh, a nice addition to the park. So, Carowinds adding multiple rides in 2023 as part of this renovation of the Crossroads area in between Afterburn and Copperhead Strike. And it's been very exciting to see more progress when it is during construction. So, that is going to be it for this video. Shout out to park fans for the images on your screen in this video. Uh, 
And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a carol wins. Fantastic time. Thank you.